Hi everyone, how are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you several popular celebrity photos such as Dua Lipa, Sasha Baron Cohen, Rita Ora, Taylor Swift, and many more, proving that the one-eyed occult elite is always there for you. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by displaying these images every day. But that's the whole point. These pics are proof that a small occult elite is controlling thousands of industry of slaves across the world while owning the media disseminating this symbolism. And lately, the one eye sign is more omnipresent than ever. The phenomenon that I've been observing for years is only amplifying to the point that it is now completely unavoidable. The elite is clearly showcasing its tentacular control of all aspects of society, yet most people stay blind to it all. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. The fashion show by designer Xander Joe featured male models walking around with fake pregnant bellies. There is a clear and constant effort to confuse people about their natural differences. And the fashion world is part of that effort. Dude, you do not need to hold that belly because you're not pregnant. This model wears a t-shirt saying, New World Baby. Commenting on the meaning of this shirt, the designer stated, we're prepared to welcome a future of male pregnancy. In a Teen Vogue article about this fashion show, the conclusion was, people of all gender identities can become pregnant. They're truly losing it, no matter how much outright brainwashing mass media will dish out, one undeniable fact will always remain, only women can be pregnant. That's it. Deal with it. The Spanish fashion brand Palomo shot to prominence in a few short years after getting endorsements by the likes of Beyonce. The brand's 2018 fall-winter ad campaign is in perfection continuation of the dehumanization agenda going on in the fashion world. The campaign features young male models dressed in Peter Pan-like clothes, crawling on all fours while attached to leashes. Perfect. 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 Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Of course, the one eye sign is everywhere. This is singer Dua Lipa doing the one eye sign combined with the MK trigger phrase, somewhere over the rainbow. Sasha Baron Cohen, the guy that did Borat, stars in a series entitled, Who is America? The promo pics feature extra prominent one-eye signs. Here, Sasha is disguised as an ex-Israeli agent who tricks politicians into doing stupid things. This other promo pic proves that the one-eye thing is extremely deliberate. It tells us that the show fits the agenda of the elite. Judging from several episodes, the show is clearly custom-made to cater specific political agendas. Rita Ora is doing her best to stay in the entertainment industry and she has to do these one-eye pics to keep getting work. This is Sean Mendes' profile pic on his social media accounts, to be seen by his millions of young followers. Gotta show who's his boss. This is Teresa Caputo aka The Long Island Medium, does a big fat one eye sign in Paper Magazine. Why? Because that's what you need to do to stay in the biz. This is Olivia Munn in Rogue Magazine. Why? You know why. Camila Cabela and rising star singer, Bozzy, both letting you know that they're industry pawns. This is Harris Dickinson in Hunger Mag in an article about redefining masculinity. Of course. The sign also needs to be right on the cover of magazines. Indeed, that's how the elite flaunts its power and identifies its ownership of magazines and celebrities. This is Kelani on the cover of Paper. A big fat one-eye sign on the cover of Brazilian magazine Epoca Negocios featuring the founder of the Blockchain Academy. The cover of Peak magazine features Hong Kong business magnate Alan Zeman doing the one-eye sign. But wait, maybe he just did it for fun and to be random. 
Here's another pick of Zeman. Nothing random here, just hardcore occult elite symbolism. Queen Maxima of the Netherlands was featured on the cover of Vanity Fair calling her, the most popular queen of Europe. A strain of hair strategically placed over one eye lets you know that, despite being a queen, she subjected to them. This is the cover if stylist with the classic, one eye replaced by a fake eye, bit. This is the cover of First Class Magazine. Can somebody tell this girl that's not how you wear a brooch? She seems to need help. But, wait, maybe it was not meant to be a sign of the elite but a fun quirky one-time thing. Oh lord. Karamo Brown, star of the Netflix series Queer Eye, on the cover of Attitude, with one eye hidden, combined with a somewhat disgusted look on his face. That's what you need to do to get that sweet Netflix money. Model Anna Mila Gaians on the cover of Harper's Bazaar Spain hiding one eye for absolutely no reason. Meanwhile, this is the cover of Harper's Bazaar in the US. Taylor Swift with one and eye covered. Vogue India with a clever one eye thing. So clever. The French magazine L'Equipe celebrates the World Cup win with a medal covering an eye. So clever. As usual, the one eye sign was on a bunch of ads too. This is an ad for a bank. Someone, please tell that girl that's not how you use a credit card. An ad for a phone company. She's so cool. The sign also needs to be right on the packaging of popular products. This is an ad for a shoe featuring Paris Jackson. Of course, one eye is hidden. Also, the leopard skin pattern of the shoe is associated with beta kitten programming. To exemplify this, the shoe covers her chest. This is an ad for a casino. At the top, it says, when they don't know who they're playing with. Indeed, most people doing that sign don't know the true nature of the occult elite they're playing with. Britney Spears released a perfume, and this is the pick used to promote it. She's a slave for them. They want you to see that sign even when you open up your fridge to grab some cucumbers. Tired of seeing one-eye signs? Here are things that are even more annoying. This is Anna Lou Castoldi, the daughter of Asia Argento, showing off on Instagram how she vandalized a bus seat in Rome. Other than the fact that this rich kid posted a pic of her defacing property funded by the taxes of hardworking people, she's wearing a shirt that says, I want to be dead too. Lol. This is weird, considering the fact that her mother dated Anthony Bourdain at the time of his death. After School Satan is the Satanic Temple's extracurricular program for public schools. There are after school Satan clubs in cities across the United States, including Atlanta, Los Angeles, Salt Lake City, Pensacola, Washington, D.C., Tucson, Springfield, Missouri, Seattle, Washington, and Portland, Oregon. The logo features a devil horned dude doing Baphomets as above so below sign, while the so below offers candy to lure children in. One of the guy's eyes is a spiral resembling the boy lover symbol. This is happening in actual public schools, right now. There's a documentary about the designer Alexander McQueen, and this is the first image of the trailer. Before his death by hanging, McQueen was the occult elite's favorite designer. This horned skull is them telling you that they still own McQueen, from beyond the grave. This horned skull also flashed a few times during the McQueen trailer. Dark M.O. is an annual winter festival that taking place in Hobart, Australia. This year, the organizers installed several bright red inverted crosses across the city's waterfront. In case you didn't know, the symbol of the inverted cross represents the occult elite's brand of Satanism. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, like and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job, always appreciated greatly.
you may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusion regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This Everything Inside Me channel. See you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.